Welcome back everybody, Dave the Gamer. Wanted to make a random uh, video on opening a hundred of the oozing bags. Uh, you roughly get about five of them per hour. So it took me roughly 20 hours to get all of the bags to be able to make this video. And if you're not familiar with the actually where to get the actual oozing bags, the best place to actually farm them is up in this cave. Same spot that where you'd get the greater nature protection uh, recipe. Uh, I farmed here, like I said, all day today about for about six hours worth. And over the course of the 20 hours to get the 100 bags, uh, I think I got roughly 23 Greater Nature Protection um, recipes that sell on my server right now for about 70 gold a piece. And I would see all of these prices going up when AQ is actually released. Uh, over the course of the whole time, I was always averaging over about 120 gold an hour there. I was on my mage so I could AOE pull everything. Where you're getting these oozing bags from though, is from the devouring oozes with inside the cave. Uh, when you kill them, they split in the little oozes. They're a pain in the butt to kill for some classes, but they have an 11% chance to drop the oozing bags. Now with the bags itself, what you're hunting for, you have a 1.8% chance to get the disgusting oozing, which on my server is going right now for about 250 to 300 gold. It looks like server wide or uh, regional wide, it goes between 100 to 150 gold a piece. Uh, so with having 100 total, I would love to be able to get two of them. Hell, I'll be happy with one of them, but I'd love to see how much gold and if this adds another layer to, like I said, that place I'm already getting 120 gold uh, an hour there, is this going to add even more? So let's open these up. And uh, I feel like I'm at the casino right now. I'm about to win some crazy prize. So let's see here. Silver leaf. Okay. Nice and shitty. Oh, okay. I started at 100 gold too, just so it'd be easy to see how much. We'll break down how much I made per bag basically at the end. Okay, so far shitty, shitty. Oh, 15. Jeez, come on. Star Ruby, I'll take that. And if you don't want to watch me open all of these, because uh, it might be a little boring, I'm going to try to make it exciting. It's tough when you get some shitty stuff, but check the description below i'm going to put the time stamp from when i first started opening them to the final price check just like all my other videos i always try to give you guys some time stamps but let's keep moving on almost 16 there a little bit of bruise weed mana potion okay great for my alt there let's see 22 i turned off auto loot just so it didn't jump over this fire bloom i'll take that they're up to about 80 silver a piece ghost mushroom that's what i need to see winner's bite okay we're making it somewhere okay let's see so far so far not bad fade leaf i'll take that come on come on just give me the damn thing oh no 16 ton of greater mana potions i believe the mana potions and the healing potions have like a 20 percent chance inside the bags okay fell cloth robe too bad it's only three gold right now hey but i'll take it try not to be too greedy here i'm happy to get anything out of these superior healing i always use those come on Grum's blood, yeah, going for 80 silver on my server. Okay, this all adds up. Blind weed, going for 90 silver on my server. You might hear my cat crying in the background. Uh, he does not like when I film and shut the door, so I apologize for that. But I got one shot at this video, and it took me 20 hours to farm all this. So we're just going to continue rolling on here. Some purple lotus, that will be great for phase, uh, for phase 5, phase 6. Aquamarine. I have a uh, TBC guide coming up on why you should be investing in some of the herbs there or herbs or gems. Okay, so not bad so far. It looks like I'm getting about 50 silver average. Another winner's bite. Come on, 22 silver. Come on. This is why I don't go to the casino. I have some shitty fucking luck. Give me the fucking pet. Come on. Boom. Boom. 
Yes. That is what I'm talking about right there. God damn, I got so damn excited. My cat lost his shit. I had to pause the video. But look at that juiciness. I think I opened 64 is the first round of it. Look at that. Look at that. 200 gold minimum on my server. Uh, market value only 92. I don't know. I feel like I can get 100 gold out of this bad boy. Um, and actually with the oozings, I've been trying to research. I've heard uh, in previous time people were able to basically equip this door an AQ and it would knock off a debuff since it applies a debuff. I think they hot fixed that. It wasn't intended to be like that. I'm not 100% sure. So let me know if that is still a thing and if I should sell this or equip it. I don't really need the gold. I mean, trust me, I don't mind 200 gold, but... All right, so we got one of them. That is fucking great. I am so pumped right now. Okay, let's let's one one more, one more, huh? What do you guys think? What do you think? Okay, fire bloom, fire bloom. All righty, I'm gonna pause it, grab my other 36 of them, and we're gonna continue this shenanigans. All righty, back at it. 36 more. Can we get another one? Let's see. Come on, tons of superior healing potions. I'm liking the high level herbs though. It definitely adds up in the end. I'm interested to see basically how much it breaks down to per bag. Um, it really helped my per bag if I got another oozing. Another pet, look at that glorious thing. Whew. Let's see here, one more, one more. Okay, Swift Thistle, first one. Those sell for great gold. All right. Looks like between 10 uh, to 30 silver is what you get. Another, damn, okay, now this is a different pattern. Still, it's only worth really like three gold. Okay, okay. Let's see, strangle kelp, strangle kelp's good. I'll take all these herbs. I'm gonna turn them into some potions. If you haven't seen my one video, I like to turn all of my shit into potions and maximize my profits. And I have a guide on, you know, 15 of the best potions you should be making. Let's see. Come on. Come on. What do I got? What do I got? I got six left. Six left. Come on. Come on. Spock. Give it. Oh, man. Every green little thing I get excited. Ghost mushroom. Last one. Last one. It's a 1.8% chance. I got my one. Come on. Give it to me. Give it. Oh, okay. 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 Looks like I got about, what, seven, uh, uh, 17, about 17 and a half raw gold. That's not too bad. I'm going to pause it, break down, and kind of figure out exactly how much gold I made within this time. And to be safe, I'm going to factor the oozing at 100 gold, which is a little bit lower than regional, like regional market value and everything else, just to be safe, kind of give a rough idea of what we're looking at here. So bear with me one moment while I calculate this. I got to use my toes and fingers, so I'm going to pause the video. Look at all that juicy loot. So it looks like after, you know, like I said, I had to use my fingers, my toes, I had to use my girlfriend's toes. I'm not very good at math, but what I've came up with, okay, I got about 30 gold total in items and about 17 in raw gold. Like I said, the disgusting oozing, I'm factoring at 100 gold. If it's more on your server, great. This means it's even more for you, uh, but it all broke down to 147 gold total divided by the 100 bags that I opened up. That's 1.47 gold per bag. Not too bad, especially when you factor, um, like I said, over the course of 20 hours, I don't think I ever dipped lower than 120 gold per hour there. I was always getting, I mean, sometimes uh, one run uh, or one hour, I would get zero greater nature protection recipes. Other hours, I'd get two or three of them. But it broke down uh, that I never got less than 120 gold per hour there. And then when you factor these bags in, um, that's an extra... You know, if I get five per hour, that's an extra seven and a half gold. So you, you could factor that spot as a mage over 130 gold an hour there. Uh, other classes that's good at AOEing, like I said, when you kill 
uh, devouring ooze it actually breaks into little ones so when you try to kill a bunch of them without aoe makes it very difficult but i've seen warriors there i've seen rogue stealth around so it's doable by many classes look up in the top right corner there i actually have a clip uh, to the video that i'm talking about that shows exactly how to kill everything in that cave and why you want to go there so be sure to check out that video guys and as always game on